Greetings fellow ukuleleans, Jeff Weinberger coming at you here with a new tutorial. That song you might have recognized that I was playing is Singing in the Rain. It's a great old song from 1929. It was used in the 1952 movie of the same title, Singing in the Rain, starring Gene Kelly. And uh, there is a scene where they show him singing that out on the street and um, dancing and doing what Gene Kelly does. But I have a student that wanted to learn that song, so it was kind of interesting putting together an arrangement that he and I could play together for his recital at one of the music schools I teach at. And so I'm having him do the melody, and I'm going to be backing him up with chords. But in order to study that song and really get into it, I uh, listened over and over and watched that, that scene in the movie and got some of the orchestral chords that were being played. And that, that's what's in my arrangement. I basically took my student's melody part my own chord accompaniment part and then the orchestral stuff and kind of smushed it together into my own arrangement. I'd like to show you that today. Um, I will make this available. If you are a patron of mine on Patreon, you will be able to download that for absolutely free, just for your usual subscription. If you would like to get a copy of it um, otherwise, uh, head on over to Patreon. I'll leave a link down below and you can click on that and access the full tab for this uh, arrangement I have for Singing in the Rain. I put the song in F, uh, that's not the original key, but it sits on the ukulele really nice in F, so let's check it out. You've got the beginning where uh, Gene Kelly's whistling, and that melody goes like this. And that's just uh, swing eighth notes, you know, we're trying to swing it a little bit, and uh, it's using the F major scale. You play your open A, you play your first fret on your E string, the note F, you play G on the third fret of that E string, and you go back to F on the first fret. So it's the first bit. Pretty simple, four little notes. Um, and then you repeat some of those. But before you do, you're going to be playing D on the C string, second fret followed directly by F on the first fret of your E string. So second fret D, first fret F. Now we repeat this bit, open A, F on the first fret, G on the third fret. And then we go F, G, D, F. And that's first fret F, third fret G, second fret D, first fret F. Just a quick word about that, um, don't mean to interrupt the flow here, but I do want to take a brief time out to say how important it is to learn the notes on the neck of your instrument. If you're playing ukulele, you really should do yourself a favor and learn where the notes are. Your open A string is the note A, it's the pitch A. And then on the second fret of that is the note B. On the third fret is C, etc. Knowing those and knowing the sharps, like that the fourth fret on that string is C sharp or D-flat. That stuff is incredibly important, and so if you don't already know it, um, do yourself a favor and go online and download yourself a nice little chart of the neck, something that shows the location of all the notes at every string and every fret, and uh, you'll be glad you did. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me or text me or just let me know if you need any help understanding the notes on the ukulele. That's how important I think it is. I'm willing to help you out there. So, yeah, I just went over that. Let me play it for you. Now that I described how to play it, let's play it together. One, two, three, four. Notice how I use my thumb for that, for a mellow sound. I want to get kind of a singing sort of sound, so I'm not really using my fingers as I would in a more intricate thing that I would need to play fast, and so I'm using my thumb to really bring out that melody and that vocal quality. All right, so that's the melody for the um, whistling part, and then I just simply throw the chords F and D minor under that. So I keep the melody going, and then I strum partial chords uh, with the melody and then between the melody. See that? How I rest my thumb on that A string. On the 
D minor chord, I do that so that this F melody note pops out on the E string. Partial roll, that's what James Hill calls it. And I uh, have adopted that phrase too, I like that phrase, a partial roll. Where you don't strum the whole chord, you strum only some of it, and then your finger or thumb rests on the string that you don't want to sound, thus bringing out the melody. So that's a super important technique, the partial roll.